the Central University of Karnataka, located in the Kalyan Karnataka region, sits on the lap of nature near Kadaganchi village on a peaceful and expansive campus of 654 acres. There are 12 schools and 27 departments, nurturing and overlooking more than 2,000 strong students. The beautiful league with a soothing arena and simmering calmness helps to boost students' creativity. Special architectural academic buildings with great ambience instead of the art facilities like auditoriums make students and faculties to gather and celebrate the art and culture. The university blends academic with various co-curricular and extracurricular activities focusing on students' overall and professional development. Comprising the academics, the university has other facilities like a guest house to welcome visionaries visiting the campus, a banking facility, a post office, a cafeteria, bus facilities, and a health center to ensure the physical well-being of students with qualified doctors and staff members. Safety is ensured by vigilant security personnel round the clock. Central University of Karnataka was established in 2009 by a Parliament Act. This is located in the North Karnataka in the Kalaburgi, which is having a good advantages as far as the, the location is concerned, it is uh, access to the Maharashtra, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. So it is uh, well connected to the people from the north, south, east and west. This is a locality, it has more advantages. And uh, it has uh, multidisciplinary subjects. 27 departments are offered by this university and we have a good faculty and the hostel facilities are available for the students. This is another advantage for the students to pursue good academics. This university implemented NEP 2020 and it is offering the UG, PG programs and PhD programs and that is good library, the university has the good Wi-Fi facility and it is a green campus and good ecosystem away from the city, free from pollution and it is good for the academics, particularly for the students who want to pursue good academics and develop their academic career. Here also we have the good instrumentation facility then the placements are taking place in the university. In the multidisciplinary subject, we have the law, journalism, management, engineering, science, social sciences. All these faculties are there in the NEP 2020. As per this multidisciplinary approach, the students are free to choose any subject. That is another advantage for the university. It is a non-affiliating university and uh, teachers are concentrating more on research and definitely it is uh, inspiring the students to carry out the research. So that is, uh, it is fulfilling the aspirations and uh, expectations of the students. Namaste, I am Bhagyashree. I have joined to CUK through CUET exam to PG course that is chemistry course. In our department, all the faculties have pursued their post doctoral from IITs, NITs and central universities. So we got a lot of opportunity to explore ourselves more and uh, learn from them more. So they gave us experiential learning, especially from lab. So they guide us that how to build our career in future, especially for industrial areas. And uh, if we clear a net exam, what we'll get, what are the opportunities we will get. And our department uh, special thing was like, it is near to nature. 
The university's central library is fully equipped and automated with RFID technology. The online public access catalog contains more than 72,000 print books, which includes a book bank for competitive examinations. With the connection of InfliftNet, the central library is rich with more than 9,000 e-journals from Oxford University, Taylor & Francis, Springer, Emerald Publishing and others, which are easily accessible to students. To promote students' reading skills, the Central Library is awarding the students the Best Library User Award based on students' access and transaction of books. The Central University of Karnataka has initiated the research and development cells which has a mandate from the University Grant Commission as well. Uh, our motto is uh, think global but act local. We are located in a very strategic area in, in this part of the country. This is the Deccan Plains and uh, in terms of culture, in terms of history, this has a wonderful precedence, wonderful background. So uh, we are trying to tap uh, the local resources, local inputs for for identifying our research problems and then fostering it in terms of uh, developing product, technology, etc. In this regard, some of the critical areas that we have actually identified for our research includes uh, climate resilient agriculture, water management, and then supporting the sustainable economic and social systems, uh, folk and uh, ethnicity, the cultures, etc., and then uh, lingua ethnic uh, cultural traditions, etc. So all the schools are actually very actively working in these areas. Some of the activities uh, that the research and development cell has actually kind of facilitated in the university is we are into the product development in terms of uh, skin care products. We are also into uh, uh, several archaeological surveys, etc. So uh, we are also I mean, uh, training students in some of the skills related to laboratory techniques, analytical techniques, etc. So these are all the activities that are currently undergoing as part of the research and development cells in Central University of Karnataka. Uh, the aim largely is uh, basically to, to train our students in terms of uh, research which will lead them to innovation, in turn into intellectual property, finally incubation, so that we develop an entrepreneurs, we develop a research skill set, we also develop a wonderful um, kind of uh, academicians in this university. So that is the direction in which uh, Central University of Karnataka is moving, and in a couple of years from now, I think we will be able to see the results of this work. Hello everyone, this is Shivanika here, and uh, I'm currently pursuing Masters in Life Sciences from Central University of Karnataka. So basically why I choose this course is because there are not many central universities in India which offers this uh, course in life sciences in uh, masters and second is that uh, this course is besides our basic uh, research opportunities which we we'll all already get from other universities this universities also provide many placement opportunities in many bio uh, pharmaceuticals industries and biotech companies also and in uh, the persons who wants to go in teaching field we can also apply there also so it provides many opportunities here besides that we have many developing courses here like biosimilars and uh, many other biofuels courses from uh, which we can learn and go in the emerging fields also uh, which requires a lot of attention in India right now, but we can apply for, for in foreign universities also with the help of these courses. The Central University of Karnataka made an unparalleled growth since its inception. The university has made several initiatives for the best resource management, and our university is committed for uh, conducting world-class research and the milestone to this effect is the establishment of a centralized SIC, the Sophisticated Instrumentation Center, which is established, funded by HIFA of EGC. And this center houses the advanced 
instruments which are used in the field of sensor technology the outcome of this project or the outcome of this center is expected to compete to the produce the breakthrough research in our university which can go in competence with the world class university so the different kinds of scientific outreach activities of the university include biofuel center telemetric weather stations uh, innovation club led referral center distinguished lecture series and these are the modes our university try to convey whatever the activities that is happening in our university to enter into society at large within a very short span of time our university made its meritorious positions and its place among the higher education institutes in india and the testimony to this effect is the latest nrf ranking university had central university of karnataka established in the region of uh, kalyana karnataka region with utmost goal to eradicate regional disparities through imparting quality education undertaking high quality research and inclusive education giving opportunity for the students of uh, backward region enabling them empowering them through quality education and research primarily department of psychology department of uh, social work department of public administration department of history and department of folklore history and tribal studies these departments are functioning the departments also have carried different research projects from iccsr government of india government of karnataka dst uniqueness of all these research project has been multidisciplinary another important feature of the school is that biofeedback equipment installed in the department of psychology it helps in upgrading the teaching learning process of the students through practical exposure to the biofeedback equipment the department of social work very prominently carrying community engagement activities and uh, through camp life skill training micro planning for village development planning these are the important community engagement academic activities carried by the department the departments are working towards fulfilling the goals of uh, national development through imparting quality education research practice and also enabling the students scholars and teachers to undertake high quality publications greeting and salutation to everyone my name is ayush singh from central university of karnataka currently i am pursuing my bachelor's of economics and i am in my second year in this university i got variety of knowledge and variety of experience i become an ep sarthi for a 2020 implementations of new education policy this university gave me an enormous amount of involvement in education and diaspora of intellectual level and due to this university i become a more vocal more intellectual as compared to my previous year and i thanks to this university central university of karnataka the central university of karnataka has a very good infrastructure it has 11 hostels to accommodate more than 2000 students uh, the students we get are from different parts of the india from different states uh, apart from that we have all necessary infrastructure facilities available in the central university of karnataka for the students we have sports complex we have sports grounds we have indoor stadium uh for the students as well as faculty members we have the faculty for sports activities we have yoga teachers uh and then we also have music department so our students get a uh, training from these uh, faculty departments faculty members and all and they participate in uh, state level national level and zonal level 
events at, uh, to, uh, held at different parts of the India. Apart from that, our students also participate in the youth festival that is conducted by All India University Association. We also organize different activities in uh, campus. One of the very prestigious activities is the annual gathering known as Ankur. In this Ankur, we conduct the computations of the students from different schools and departments. This includes both the cultural activity as well as sports activity. Hi everyone, my name is Susan Carol Thomas. I have been a student of this university for the past five years. I joined for my integrated masters in the year 2019. Currently, I am the uh, NEP ambassador as well for the university and I am very proud to say that uh, the my university, the Central University of Karnataka, is one of the first in the country to implement this policy and I'm glad that uh, the policy as well is been very beneficial to the students who have been just joined to the university as the policy holds a great much of value and I'm very glad that the faculty and the administration has been supporting the students with all the guidance and care and I hope that in the coming years that we as a university will be able to provide a lot of uh, intellectual and professional growth to the students who are getting uh, introduced to the uh, courses, to new courses that are present in the university and we'll build ourselves. The university strives to reach higher goals and achievements of success with promises to produce passionate and determined students who reach and fulfill their dreams. So come and join the Central University of Karnataka family. Let us touch the stars together.